Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pupsy here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we should not expect anything from Take-Two Interactive at E3 in just a, about pretty much 30 minutes from now when they do their little panel or press conference, whatever you want to call it, and when we could expect the next time to get an announcement from Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive. So let's get right into today's video. So as you know, the big gaming conference or convention going on right now is E3, and again, it's a virtual this year just because of COVID protocols and such like that. And we knew just about, uh, you know, before E3 started that Take-Two Interactive that owns Rockstar Games and 2K Games and operates on that private division of the publishing label would be actually participating here at E3 this year, 2021. And again, when people saw this, they're like, okay, are we going to at least get an announcement or something about GTA 6 or even the GTA 5 Expanded Enhanced edition of the game? And it doesn't look like now that we'll be getting anything because they're doing something totally different that you know is going on now their event actually kicks off today at 10 15 a.m pacific standard time and 1 15 eastern standard time through the official e3 youtube channel now actually take two interactives 2k division announced borderland spinoff tiny tina's wonderland on june 10th through the summer games fest so 2k actually announced something but again there's no indication that Rockstar is going to be announcing anything just because of how Take-Two Interactive's event is actually going to be different. It's going to be just this little panel with special guests. And this is how uh, Take-Two said about what they're doing at E3. We brought together one of our partners, including USC Games, Games for Change, Gay Gaming Professionals, and Girls Make Games to share insights of their important work and to discuss how our industry can continue to lean into these intensities, to help cultivate the next generation of game creators, and to make our correspondence content communities even better for the future, Take Two said. And then Take Two also did their like little advertising for this event, and they said, "Tune into our panel to discuss diversity, quality, and inclusion in the gaming industry with our partners, Game for Change." USC Games, Girls Make Games, and Gay Gaming Professionals at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with special guests like Susan Palalek, Jim Huntley, Lena Saburi, and Gordon Bentley. So again, those are going to be the special guests. And this is pretty actually unique, uh, if I had to say, because again, a lot of conferences at E3, you're usually like announcing something. Like again, we had Xbox, Bethesda. Ha announce big games like Forza Horizon 5 for an example the new Battlefield game so again when they come to E3 they're usually announcing something regarding new products coming out and stuff like that and it looks like Take-Two Interactive is just interviewing people with panels so again I don't think this always happens but again when Take-Two Interactive comes here usually they have something that they're going to announce but again it doesn't look like this is going to be the time that is going to announce now this video is probably going to go up right when this you know panel is about to you know start and actually going live on the channel so again if anything interesting or anything comes from this take two panel I'll be sure to update you guys on the channel today but you're actually wondering when is the next opportunity that Rockstar is going to have or take to interactive for an announcement on you know the next uh, GTA 5 it's been enhanced or even GTA 6 well, that is probably going to happen at a uh, Sony uh, an event, probably what they call State of Play. Now, if you're not, you know, in the know with a, you know, who actually participated at E3 this year, well, of course, it was Xbox, Bethesda, Ubisoft, etc. Well, actually, Sony and, you know, PS4 and the PS5 actually backed out of this conference this year again they're usually participating i don't know why their reason of backing out i don't know if they had a misagreement with e3 or whatever but again there's actually leaks going around on the gaming leaks and rumors page on the reddit page that sony event could happen in a few weeks as you can see this is a leak according to navra ff originals basically they're just saying how uh 
you know, these games are coming out and how Sony's most likely going to have an event in a few weeks. And my understanding is that's probably going to be, if they're saying a few weeks, probably in July, as June is basically wrapping up here. We're soon Independence Day in the United States. So again, we're just going to have to stay tuned to see what Sony has involved and also on this uh basically another gaming and leaks page not on reddit but again there's this person that are saying assume nothing changed just wait in a couple weeks just regarding how this gameplay is so good for a game and you know when's sony going to announce something so again it looks like this event is official but we just have to wait for Sony to come out and say, you know, when this event is going to take place. And as we know, Sony and Rockstar have a good partnership together. Again, we haven't saw anything from the Xbox conference at E3 2021 this year regarding, you know, uh, Rockstar game title. And as we know, the past recent announcements actually regarding the first news about GTA 5 Expanded Enhanced Edition was actually released. Uh, their First, and this is actually going uh, off of a year now that actually the game was being placed. And remember that time they actually didn't show any new gameplay on the new consoles like the PS5, for example. This was all on the PS4 edition. And that actually was the most disliked trailer that PlayStation had regarding GTA games. That is pretty dis disappointing as well. And as you know right now, again, Sony... And if you're on the PS5 and 4, you're actually getting free $100 million each month for just playing if you uh, until the release date in November, November 11th. Again, we officially got that release date just about a month or two ago regarding the game. So as you know, there are definitely partnerships in the way. So again, hopefully you do if you're watching that E3 conference or panel of the Take-Two Interactive. Just... Uh, about a couple minutes, under 30 minutes now to go until that panel does start. I uh, hope you do enjoy if you watch it again, learn some good information. But unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to get any new game announcements regarding Rockstar from Take-Two Interactive uh, at E3 Conference. And just want to note, we thought we were actually going to get something because actually the E3 schedule changed a couple days before E3 started. They said Take-Two Interactive was actually going to have a press conference and that uh, changed somehow. And now they're just having this panel. So maybe we were going to have some sort of announcement. And then Take Two's like, no, we shouldn't have it here. We should wait till Sony has their type of conference on their own hand. So again, if any news comes out from Sony regarding an announcement or Take Two Interactive, again, I'll be sure to update you on the channel as well. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pupster channel for more videos like this. Again, my name is GTA Pupster here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.